Hello everybody and welcome back to Vampire. So we found this uh, Dr. Swansea. He set, up, he set us up with this new job, new hideout at some hospital area. Now we're going to analyze William Bishop's blood samples to see what the fuck happened to him. Analyze. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly. At 150 health points over 15 seconds. Ooh la la. Okay. We need a glass vial. Ferrous tar tart Sodium high fuck science. Green Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. Look at that face. I must keep on searching. Okay, the rest. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Okay. Oh boy. Nope. Hey, glass files. Okay, before I go to bed, I'm gonna go to the garden. Because Milton, an uh, ambulance driver who sells weapons to people, mentioned uh, an inmate. Or patient, I guess they're not inmates, they're infected patients. One of them got out at the garden and he asked me to go check it out. Or he, I said I would go check it out. And uh, let's just see what happens. Nothing here. Is this it? This is it, right? Scowl voices in the garden. Oh, I shit. Should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Scowl! <laughs> Oh, it's a level six. That's tough. Thankfully, I'm level four. And I don't like tough. Water sturdy blood sample. Gun, 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 gun. Don't have the gun. Give me your blood. Haha. Yup. Ow. Missed it. Yup. Yup. Got it. Come here, you. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Time to die. Okay. What is this? Another blood sample. Photograph and wallet. A photograph of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Okay, that's Milton. Oh, that's all I had to do? I wanted there to be like a boss fight or something. God damn it. Are these dead bodies? No, it looks like garbage. Alright. Well, let's bring this back to Milton. I wanted another boss fight. Like with William. That was awesome. Shotgun shells. Where'd I get those? Okay. Ooh, search the trash. That's all the trash. Trash. Grease and screws. Nice. Uh... Okay, that's public notice about the epidemic and be safe from it. Uh, where's Milton? Uh, I have to find him in here? Milton! I'd imagine he'd still be outside. I'm guessing your patience. Where the hell Milton go? Is he still out here? I guess I do have cars. Hey, Milton. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I saved your wallet's life. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I sure. retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Who is Pippa? Pippa? Is my girl. Oh. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. A new hint. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your Ooh, a new hint shut. about Pippa too. Not everybody's as broad minded. Does she as work here? Alright, so what's the hint that I got? Just that you're a couple? Okay, yeah, she's a nurse. Okay. Yep, I'm still have a shitty mesmerized level. Don't know how to get it up. I theorized the more I do it, the more leveling I get. Can I find uh, Pippa here? 
About the use of garlic? Oh, God. Uh, why is there a note to the Prywin here? Oh, no, it's St. Paul. That makes more sense. Okay. Wooden stakes and fucking things. Hey, how's it going, dude? Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I can punch Reed, it and make it more I've uglier. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Okay. Thomas. I can mesmerize you if I want. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should. Like, I don't know what the benefit of it is other than getting XP. I want to see what this is. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, we're both on the same level. I think I could mesmerize him if I wanted to, but Goodbye I won't. For now, Mr. Elwood. If I find, like, an asshole in the street, I will definitely do that. Who is... Uh, it's a priest. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Okay, Sean. Ooh, he's a level six. He's healthy, I think. Uh, let's see if we can find out about him. Your pres- Yeah, why was he in that den? How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place, and he refused to let me go. So you knew him. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. You are a hero or a fool. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. Or I'm both. Just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for light. Okay. Uh... What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The Wet Boot Boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Okay. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show. With Ooh. the assistance of her minion, Boot That was fast. Has the gang In case you didn't know, I killed Clay Cox. Uh, no. I've had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. Okay. Uh, Tom Watts. Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Is there a difference? People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. Where are the authorities? No drugs. No are advice, they just gone? Nothing. It's a damn shame. Alright, corruption. Who should I avoid in this part of town then? Any particularly <coughs> evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. So, do you know about vampire? I mean, you were there when I saved your life. Alright, personal, I probably can't... Oh, I could. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage very an big. asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Oh, yeah, one of those. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Okay. Oh yeah, that worked against me. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? 
That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token. If that's what I beg to differ. To Not mine, anyway. All right. Have you made friends since you arrived? I don't know why I'm talking to him. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. All right. How do you feel? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest. And then I can go back to the people who need me. Okay. Uh, is that everything? I guess so. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Do you want to get mesmerized by a level one? Okay. Um, I'm done talking. Let's go rest to bed. Rest to bed? Sure, why not? Okay. Time for bed. Sleep time. And let's let's uh let's upgrade the blood spear, can we? Two thousand. Okay, never mind. Um, what is this? Yeah, sure. I'll try and get some passives. Oh wait, I unlock science. Medical bag, you can now carry three serums. I don't carry any serums right now. I should probably start making some. I might be running into people that actually need help. Uh, let's, let's increase blood capacity. And I probably do one more. You perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Sure. It's not enough. So wait, does it not just like hold it? No, so you either need the points or you can't even do it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Confirm. I got plus one bullet. Major district's events. Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It can also be degraded or to diseases spreading among citizens. Wow. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide a district's fates. Yep. Okay. But I mean, really, what was he doing for anybody? Apparently he was a leader of a gang. Ooh, I wish I knew that before I killed him. <laughs> okay, um... I really do want to wipe out one district, just so I know what it looks like. Who is that? Dorothy Crane? What, what district is this? I thought she was with... us. I don't know. If I'm to stay here... Chapter 2, White Coats. I'd better learn to hide. Learn to live amongst mortals. What about my Night shift. For blood? Help the Prembro Prembroke Hospital to cope with the epidemic. Okay. Well, we are healthy. That is good for us. Uh, I did the midnight in the garden. Yes. Su succeeded. Success. Someone there? Hi. Why are you so far away from my door? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but...
Uh, I don't want to be too harsh. What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. Dumb bitch. You have been away too long, doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However, do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Okay, where's that? Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. Thank you. Small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank Again. you. Again. Just draw me a map. Alright. Enter the old morgue. So I don't know science talk. But antiseptic, I know that's a very... Very important thing you need at hospitals. How the fuck do you run out of it? I get there's an epidemic, but Jesus. If you're running low, you stop using it and then you get more. That's how it works. Alright, there's a the door. Uh, six citizens can be healed with the appropriate and treatment. Okay. Find useful medicine ingredients in the old morgue. Find some ferocious terrate. What was that? Find some quinine. Find some sodium. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully there ain't vampires in there. Or skulls. What? I think that's what they were called. There's gotta be something in here. I can't be but myself. How do I go up? Oh, there's stairs. Uh, there's nothing in there. Oh. Skull. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, it took over that. Okay. Uh, let's change that to the gun. Nope. Okay, I gotta literally unequip it. Ooh, let's go with the... Uh, what's better? Let's use the hatchet. Put the gun back on. Let's see how these work. Hello. Spear. Your behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. I the guess sickness so. moves faster than influenza. All right. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Okay. I thought that was going to be a uh, ingredient I needed. Why is my thing out? Put that away. Oh. Hey, pal, how's it going? You want to fight, bitch? Shut up. Stop groaning and ow. Moaning. Gunshot. Bitch. All right, I heal, right? That's how vampires work. Ooh. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. And more stuff. What are they? Oh, uh, quinine? Shit. Okay. What was that? Hello? A teleporter. Uh, it's not here, is it? Nope. Where? Oh. Here we go. Sweet. Ooh, hey guys, how's it going? Blood spear. Why can't I... Okay. What are you looking at? Let me eat you. Oh, 
I probably actually shouldn't waste that much ammo. I'm just shooting everyone I see. I really gotta conserve it for like big bosses. Alright, how do you stealth? How do you crouch? It doesn't make sense. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, my tummy. Suck. Hatchet. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Is there a crouch button? I gotta look this up. It said stealth. Or like... Something. Q? Maybe? You walk slower. You don't just run in. Is that me? Was that me in the mirror? Or is that... Oh. Alright, I'll try it on this guy. Walk. What are you clawing at, dude? Stun. Nope. Let go of Q. Ow. Shit. Ow. S stop it. Alright. So it's F to stun. Got it. John Doe. No. Gun. Come here, you. Ooh, he's got a lot of health. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Blood spear. Oh, that's right. You can lock on. I completely forgot about that. No. Bad boy. Gunshot. 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 Ow. Okay, let's do this. Blood spear. Go. Which one is he? Is he this one? Oh, gotta reload. Gotta reload. Okay, I don't have that much bullets left. Let's just... Listen, we could talk about this. Nope. Use one of these. Use one of these. Alright, give me your blood. I am actually out of blood. Boom. Boom. How do you resist? Stop resisting. Boom. Boom. Suck your blood. Suck it all. Oh. Ow. I really gotta, like, conserve stamina. I don't know how I keep doing that. Did I get him? These skulls okay. Can be so ferocious. <laughs> Man, I'm that was actually sure tough. Defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. I mean, you could just drink his blood. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Okay. Thanks, John Doe, for being an asshole. Let's uh, go back. Did I? Oh, wait. Was there a rat? Nope, there's that stuff. Rats can help me. Ooh. Can I drink his blood? Local investigations. A new citizen investigation is available. Press tab to... Okay. Uh, citizen, citizen investigations are displayed here. Categorized by districts. You can start new citizen quests by tracking it with right click, left click, and access your map to locate the explore area. Okay. So... What? I don't know. Um... Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. I mean, he's got blood. Right? Oh. Oh, I thought it said open chest. Uh... Sure, let's just get him quick. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Maybe. Uh, damaged legs and arms. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Alright. 
And the open chest. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Don't reach in there. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Alright, is that it? Nope. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Who's Tippett's? All right, well, thanks for not letting me suck your blood. It's locked. Of course. God damn it. Can you, like, get lockpicks, or do you just have to find the keys to stuff? Is that how that works? What's this? Okay, more stuff. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Oh, who is that? Hello? Alright, let's do the stun. Nailed it. Don't know why I did that. I think I just reset it. Blood spear. No, oh god, that hurts. No, stop it. I'm trying to get this one. Oh my good lord. Heal. Huh. Give me your blood, bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Yummy. Okay, just die. Stop it. Damn. Why are these guys getting so hard to fight? Okay, can I please leave? How are these many dead people here in this place? Okay, there's the door. Whew. Some fire and power skills work better with and synergy with other skills. Okay. Back at the hospital. So those skull vampires, I'm assuming they're vampires. Are they? They look like they're trying to eat human blood off whatever they can find. But if they are, what is causing them to be like skulls is it like a certain type of vampire like thing you can turn into or is it something else completely you have enough components to craft medicine treatment for fatigue okay fatigue craft oh I could probably give one of those to what's his name the uh, Dyson. Like two, why not? The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh no. Side mission. <laughs> Alright. F. So, my goal for this series, if it continues on after this, um, help anyone I can since I'm a doctor. But if they are fucking assholes, I'm gonna kill them. Senses. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. Uh. Who is that? Unknown? Unknown. Oh, that's that doctor. Uh, should I talk to him? Oh, Dorothy. I've got your meds. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? A month? Oh, there you go. Finally, you've returned, doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, doctor. Now, this patient here... It wasn't miracle, it was science. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report oh. to Dr. Swansea in Open his office. that door. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay, diseases. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check on his medical status. So is like the goal to heal them, then suck their blood? 
to get more XP? Is that what that means? A rat in the house. Who is that? Who are you? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Okay, then. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Uh, Beatrice, can I kill you? <laughs> Ooh, she's level four. Uh, okay. Uh, yep, let me talk to your son. Wait, is it you that needs help? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Okay. Uh, press E to check the medical status. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You know you're in a hospital, right? Wait, what's the medicine he needs? F for details. Oh, he's fatigue. Okay. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Okay, so now he's recovering. Okay, more and more. Uh, how long till I kill you? <laughs> okay. All right, uh, I don't care about you. Goodbye. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Okay, talk to Edward. Edgar, not Edward. Uh, blood temptation. Remember. Citizens of Blood will provide a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your Mesmerer's level or below and choose wisely. But I mean, like, he brought you into the hospital to be a doctor, to help out. And now your plan is just to kill people for XP? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Please, Jonathan, come in. Are you just casually looking at a skull? You ain't Shakespeare, bro. Fascinating. Is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Biology's penultimate frontier. Okay. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. Yeah, sure. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Uh. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. 
And you would like me to eradicate this threat? Why the stole? Of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay, help her. I just realized I am glowing in this webcam. Let me try and fix that real quick. Can't really... I gotta find, like, blackout curtains or something for my windows. Okay, um... The Benefactor. I... I do really want to see what would happen if you do wipe out an entire district. They all have, like, the same amount of people. I'm thinking this whole town, I'm gonna wipe out. Just to see what happens. Should I, can I go there now? Uh, I don't even know where it is. Is it? Can you fast travel? I think it's like this whole area. It just says the docks. Western docks. Okay, yeah, just the docks area. And I think this is one district. This might be another. And then this is one. I don't think this is one at all. Honestly, I don't know what this is. I think this is just a starting area you don't really go back to. Okay, uh... Eventually, I'm gonna go back there. And I'm going to kill. Hello, my lady. How can I help you? The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here. And we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Is she the lady vampire? Good evening, Dr. Reed. I don't think so. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yes, sir? You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. Yep. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Can you explain yourself? Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. In spite of the brevity of our encounter. Alright, um... So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Can we just Swansea talk as we do this? Has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. My who? Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. All right, then. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. I mean, I already ate one. Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so little left to live for. I do my best. To ease their pain. Yeah, I don't have any reason not to believe you. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Okay. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. 
I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What do they entice? What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Okay. Is it a vampire? Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. Maybe the guy you were just helping? Uh, I don't know, you want me to prove myself or something? Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I'm just asking. You are aware that I too know the thirst for the Scarlet Nectar. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I I'll guess I am. Of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. I feel like she isn't looking me in the my eyes. My life, as others know, she's like looking at my hands, mouth. Doctor Reed, I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. Don't worry, I got the power of mesmerizing. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, talk to Harriet in the hospital. So she's doing the thing where she's healing patients and then sucking their blood too. She's getting an XP boost. Okay, well, we're going to talk to Harriet in the next part. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to do it down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.